I'm using this today and I find it just gives the glow in all of the right places. Even when I've looked back on photos on a night out where I'm wearing it, everything just is lit in the right area, which I was quite surprised by, as sometimes some glowy products can be too glowy, glittery, sparkly. If you've got any combination areas, they can draw sort of too much light. But this, I don't know how or why, it just balances everything really, really perfectly. Great on camera too. One thing that's super interesting, it's kind of like a multi-purpose really because the yellow of it actually helps with sallow tones in the skin, which will counteract dullness. And then you've got this really pretty sort of candlelit glow finish. Just, again, it's not a sparkle, it's more of a sheen. And it doesn't feel slippery, which most do. I don't know if you've ever tried the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which has got not a lot of grip to it. This I really like because it kind of just sits in and dries, but it doesn't dry too much on your skin. And again, that's because it's got some skincare benefits in there. It's the glycerin in this, which helps to keep, it's almost, um, it's a skin mimicking ingredient. So it feels like your skin, acts like your skin. So the foundation just sits seamlessly on it. If I'm going to the shop, sometimes I'm not very confident and I need, I feel like I need to wear foundation. But this has given me the confidence just to leave the house with something on, just because it, it gives a glow, but it also evens out. It's just really surprised me, this primer. And in terms of adding longevity to my face, I would say it gives me an extra four hours a day, which is good. I think that the Bare Minerals Primetime Hydrating Glow Primer is perfect for people with a drier skin type. It's quite moisturizing and it leaves like a lovely glowy finish without being too shiny. It sinks into the skin really nicely and it works well with a lot of foundations and I even liked it by itself just for like a little bit of radiance. If you don't like really silicone-y primers, this might be a nice one for you. I've been using it every day. I've used it with like lighter coverage foundations, I've used it with higher coverage foundations and it just leaves like a soft glow that you can kind of peeks through. I am going to keep using it. <laughs> I've used some with tube. It doesn't really bother me. I like a pump, I like a tube. <laughs> I'm not fussy. So this is Daphne. Like for me, I always go for glow and it didn't disappoint. So it gave me a really like dewy, like radiant finish. What I liked most about it was how skincare in the formula was and it felt really like nourishing on my skin rather than like, you know, sometimes you get those silicone-y ones rather than that. So it was a lot more good for my skin. And then the finish was also radiant and glowy. So it made my glow last longer. I wouldn't like say that it made my makeup last longer, but it definitely my glow was there for longer. So just under my base was a lot more like radiant. And that's exactly what I'm looking for from a primer. This primer has made me fall in love with wearing primers again. Off the back of COVID and not really wearing much makeup. I got quite lazy to be honest with my makeup routine. I do my skincare and go straight into foundation and completely forgot about primers but this has really made me fall in love with them again because it just it makes such a difference to both the longevity of your makeup how your foundation looks and how your overall base looks all together now what i love about this is it just has this gorgeous kind of champagne glow to it and a dewiness that makes your skin just look really radiant and healthy. Now, I recently had a hydrofacial, which is kind of the craze at the moment of facials and just adding hydration to your skin. And this, to me, gives me the same glow as after I just had that facial. Really dewy, really healthy, really plump. I find this really hydrating on my skin and I find that my foundation adheres really nicely to my face whenever I use it. But I also will pop this on on no makeup days as my kind of only makeup product, maybe a bit of mascara as well. And I've had so many compliments of people saying that my skin looks really healthy, which is a really lovely compliment when you know you're not wearing any makeup or any coverage at all. So I really love this. I'm gonna keep using it. I've been wearing it on its own with makeup and I will continue to do both.